in White City Soweto, a baby girl destined for greatness had come into the world. Born into poverty, Portia Mudise shared a tiny house with her mother, grandmother, siblings and cousins, and at one point with as many as 18 other people who were in need. Growing up with my family, you know, especially my grandma, uh, we used to stay with people that we didn't know just because they didn't have a place to stay. My, my brother used to call me and say, come, come, let me dribble you, come and take the ball. Then I started to, to enjoy that and I started to realize that I, could, I know how to play football. It's not like it's something I went to learn. I think it was a gift from God. Being selected to play on the senior national team, Banyana Banyana, had long been a dream of Porsches. For me, it was a blessing because I used to watch Desiree Ellis, Kabozi, Tafigilis Tole, those big players in the TV. Then today I'm wearing the same jersey, playing with them, as associating myself with them, having jokes with them. It, it was so amazing. When I saw it on TV, I nearly break the TV, man. I, I was like, I can take it like, hey, you see. <laughs> The 2012 London Olympics proved to be a challenge for South Africa's women's football team, but the one exception to the rule would prove once again to be Portia Mudise. On 19 May 2015, Portia Mudise held a surprise press conference. I have really good memories. Probably is those memories that they really make me cry right now. From humble beginnings on the streets of White City to becoming one of the greatest footballing legends of all time, Porsche Mudise is proof that your background does not determine your destiny. Porsche Mudise is an all-time great and a South African footballing legend.